Captain Supplemental Start Date 2120.28.4. Hey, hey, welcome back to another video from that aquaponics guy. Hopefully, you've been able to enjoy the video trek so far. We plan on selling these self reliant skies for as long as we possibly can, being able to explore everything that makes life truly fulfilling. This week, we want to be able to cover with you, in a more deeper sense, the overall objectives that we have for this channel and site, what we hope to be able to discover, learn, and master along the way. I personally am a student of history. I really geek out to all that stuff that built our societies. And for the most part, you can't get me away from an autobiography or from the History Channel. That's where I feel the most comfortable. And as that student of history, I can't help but notice what's been happening in modern society that has happened over and over again in all ages of time. With one major difference. It's only been in the last 240-odd-some years that we have had, as a general people, a place of liberty and freedom that we could spread our proverbial wings. Previous to this grand experiment, this was reserved for a very select few. A very, very select few. Here we could have a place where we could, if we were smart about it, make a course of life that we wanted. Now that's not to say that everything's been sunshine and roses. We've had our share of tragedies and, and triumphs, our setbacks and accomplishments along the way. It has been in particular the last 70 years or so, a great transformation has happened that could potentially jeopardize our lives as human beings. Technology has brought us all to a point that we no longer have to do the hard life stuff. It is now done by a machine or by an algorithm, or it's been solved once and mass produced and gotten out to a solution to everyone. But it left us all wanting. Of true knowledge, of the actual know-how to be able to create for our own selves the world around us. Instead, it's conditioned us to purchase the solution that someone else has for it. Tech has brought us to a point with the necessities of life that we don't have any real source of those items if that tech were to go the way of the dodo. The average American cannot identify a food source if it's not on a kitchen shelf, let alone be able to preserve it long term. Not to mention those for a water source, let alone a clean water source, beyond that of the kitchen faucet. The same can be said for every other facet of life that makes life life and life livable. This buyer society has dumbed us all down to a point where it doesn't exist if it's not on the store shelves type of mindset. Now don't get me wrong here. I love tech and the capitalist system. From both, I have benefited greatly and hope to into the future. But I have seen that as a greater whole, we have stepped away from the teachings and the practicings of true self-sustenance. You may have noticed coming into this video, there's a pretty lengthy intro before you get to see this beautiful mug. Well, I personally put that together so that you'll be able to see what we would need to concentrate and get real life experience in doing. Along with the aquaponics and what we call life hacks, those things that you can do to make life easier in times of want. We look to cover the wild edibles that can sustain life, that can be found all around you. Self-sufficiency habits that can make you truly independent. And those alchemy of herbs that for your body. Combine that with all the food stuffs and storage that we want to be able to do with your aquaponic system. What's truly on my mind as a student of history, if things keep moving in the direction they are prone to, we're in for a very long and burdensome rough patch that only those that have lived before electricity have ever experienced. I foresee, if the path's taken, as they've done in other places, and even in the recent past, that we won't be experiencing the miracle of technology, of modern medicine, and many other things because of the neglect and the controls that are inevitably going to be put into place. What's enjoyed, tech or otherwise, by the general swaths now, will be constrained to a privileged few if any at all. Add that to the lack of commonplace. There is no common sense, and there is no widely accepted common decency. Neither is there a generally accepted common knowledge. The shades of gray will permeate all facets of life to a point where you won't be able to come to the truth relying solely on outside sources. 
I also see this wholesale lack of what was once common knowledge, not only for the basics of Maslow's hierarchy, but also the ability to have a variety of one's diet or to have access to healthy tinctures beyond what the hard pills and the capsules of Big Farmer give us, just to name an example or two. And I want to help. Heck, I want to learn it too. Aquaponics is just the tip of the iceberg, or as I've mentioned, that proverbial elephant that is before us. How can one do this with uh, limited resources, finite time, and sources of those critical wells of knowledge? Like you, I'm looking to learn and share with all those of whom I can. We need to build within. We need to look within all of us who see where this is going and start from there. But we first need to get that knowledge in that brain of ours. The wise Dr. Leo Marvin told Bob Wiley, it's all about the baby stepping, precept upon precept, intelligence upon intelligence, until we arrive at that perfect knowledge and know-how of life and living. Come along for this exciting journey. Invite all, because all are welcome. The more the merrier and better off we'll be. Feel free to share this video and all the other videos on your social media and however and whomever you choose to spread the good cheer of aquaponics. This is Captain, I mean, that aquaponics guy signing off one more time. And remember, when you are prepared, you shall not be afraid. It's that time to do a little bit of housekeeping for the video. If you find something that you like or have learned in this video, Give us a thumbs up on the like button down below, or a smile, or a rumble. By doing so is the easiest way to help out our That Aquaponics Guy channel. If you haven't had the chance to subscribe to our channel, take a moment right here and go down to the subscribe button and give it a click. Also, don't forget to smash that all alerts icon there to get the notifications of the videos we send out on a weekly basis. We'll definitely keep them coming. We welcome you sharing and or embedding this and our other videos wherever you want on social media. Spread that good news of Aquaponomania. And lastly, feel free to comment with your latest updates, thoughts, and or insights. We all here at That Aquaponics Guy enjoy walking this wonderful journey with you. We just ask you to ever be so kind and follow the golden rule when you post below. Now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Enjoy. And Godspeed, y'all.